Because you're flying high. Seriously, best palindrome ever, a butt tuba. A butt tuba? Oh, my God. <laughs> a dog folks. in a pagoda? I don't know, folks. <laughs> folks, it's Saturday night. Welcome to Murder Hobo Inc., obviously, the campaign edition, because you recognize all of these uh, friendly-ish faces. Uh, follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube. If you want to buy cool shit, like shirts or duvets or... Uh, no butt plugs, but, you know, coming soon, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, uh, that's a very distinct, yeah. yeah I, I, I am in the works with adamandeve.com for that, a sponsorship deal. So. Are, are they going to have that uh, head wrap, too, available with the Murder Hobo Inc. logo on it? Oh, this, <laughs> this whole thing? No. Yeah. no. Folks, if uh, you're at home playing bingo, uh, that's what you're playing for, magnetic dice, full set of magnetic dice. So if you got your bingo card... Uh, start the ball rolling. Uh, if you don't, you should have hit us up. Hit us up next Saturday. We'll get your bingo card and you can play along at home. Uh, as I pointed out, this is the campaign. Welcome aboard. We're going to do a recap here in a minute, but first let's go ahead and introduce you to our fine cast. Uh, we'll start with Chris, aka Maniz. Chris, who are you? Who are you playing? Uh, my name is Chris. I'm a mini painter. I am playing Maniz, the Eric Hawker cleric. And uh, Lucas showed us these funky backgrounds. So look, my hand's gone. <laughs> so we're going with that today. I'm in space. It's going to be a long night. Uh, Chris, you're putting on more shows as well, are you not? Uh, yes, we're on Wednesday, Sundays, and oh, Friday, sorry, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday. There you go, folks. So if you want to catch Maniz's painting uh, tutorials, uh, hit them up on Twitch uh, and watch and learn. Next up is Blake. Blake, who are you? Who are you playing? I'm Blake. I'm playing uh, a gypsy. I think, I think I think I'm still Perpetua. Yes, you are now, currently. Okay, sure. That's who I'm playing tonight, then. Let's get this fucker on the road. Uh, next up is Ernest. Ernest, who are you? Who are you playing? Uh, my name is Ernest. I'm playing Lucas the Anti-Druid. And my goal is to not get killed, as always. Uh, <laughs> next up, Kyle. Same question, different answer. Hi, I'm Kyle. I'm going to be playing Dewey Docamel, the Lab Barbarian. My goal is to kill Lucas at all possible. <laughs> I thought we were friends. <laughs> thought wrong. Last but certainly not least, the newest member of the ensemble because she begged, pleaded, and sent me money. Carol, Carol, who are you? Who are you playing? I, I feel better knowing that she bribed you with money instead of sexual favors. She's too far away for that, and she's a Tom Brady fan, so fuck her. Oh, please. <laughs> no, no, no. First of all, don't believe a word it says. Um, that was it's definitely consensual uh, as to me joining. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm really Karen. shitty segue, Carol. <laughs> I did get one. All right. Hi, I'm Carol. I'm playing uh, my half wood elf, half high elf bard. It's a full elf, guys, not a half elf, but just two kinds Don't of elf. Don't half elf. I heard it. She said it. <laughs> Um, uh, play my, my bard, uh, Taryn, and, um, oh my god, yeah, don't believe it, this was definitely an, uh, group effort to get me on the show, so. Sure, sure it was. So happy to hey, be she's, here. She's the only one corroborating that, mind you. Yeah. Uh, I, he did, if you watch Between the Rolls, you actually saw the one of his. Nobody group. watches that show. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, Lucas, I think I recognize that couch. Uh, hey, so. folks, uh, in case of a tie on the bingo card, uh, you need to answer how many human heads are in Dewey's refrigerator behind him. Uh, <laughs> give me a hand. I'm actually scared of opening that because I never cleaned it out and it's been sitting unplugged for years. Oh, God. That's yeah, so it's never opening. That's a good tiebreaker, though. If we need a tiebreaker, how many how many human skins does Perpetua have on her right now? Eleven. <laughs> it's got to be close. <laughs> uh, a little bit off, yeah. Carol has uh, kindly decided, uh, because she spoke too soon, she's going to go ahead and give you a recap on what the previous 26, 7, 
eight previous uh, scenarios. Uh, Taryn, go ahead. You, uh, we've only got two hours, so make it short. No, I'm only going to recap the last session. If you want to see the rest of them, they're in our YouTube our YouTube archives. So good go plug. There, Solid plug. Mind uh, you, it's not under Murder Hobo Inc. You have to look for Dungeon Master M Hobo Inc. Otherwise, you'll never find it. Or just go to tinyurl.com M Hobo Inc. Archive or M Hobo Inc. Discord if you want to see us on our Discord channel. Yeah. If you want a really good plug. We have a brand new Discord channel with all sorts of fun channels to post in. So come and join us. Um, love to talk to you there. Uh, so, all right, as for what happened last session, not for the- yeah, uh, Well, what happened last session? We'll have a last session? Uh, yeah, what see. happened last session? Lots of yeah, what happened? What happened last session? Sure would like to know what happened last session, Carol. Yeah. Carol, Carol, paint me a picture of what <laughs> happened last session. If they would stop talking over me, I would do so, but hey. This is the perfect synopsis of what happened last episode. <laughs> let's see. Was that the, let's see. Did we start with the centaurs, I believe, or was that the session before? Uh, I, do, I was going to say, I'm trying to remember how far back. <laughs> 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 Jesus Christ. <laughs> that should be on Blake's. <laughs> Here, Blake, I'll send you the image. <laughs> All right. I, I've done, I, I, that's, that's too true. Jesus Christ. Carol, are you ever going to do the recap? <laughs> hey, Carol, what happened last session? Uh. How do I get that backdrop? Uh, next to video settings, there's a, a virtual background option. Oh my God. So Folks, wait, welcome wait. to Zoom Tutorial 102, video <laughs> backdrop settings. Uh, oh. <laughs> I do not have COVID, but don't kill me. I don't know if I can do this now. I hate uh, these guys. Oh, but, uh, <laughs> you just fucked up the cameras. What? I no, that, was, that wasn't me. I shouldn't. I shouldn't have. Uh, yeah, we fine. know you shouldn't have. Oh, good. <laughs> now it's fixed. <laughs> yeah, I keep fucking them up. Yeah, it's fixed hey, now. Carol, I got it, right? Got the last show. No, All right, I, no, hang on, hang on, real quick. Before I do have to do that to check to check messages. Does that fuck up the camera? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. So then, I can't read private messages. Actually, if you hit the message button, it should pop up. I'm on my tablet. It doesn't do that. Ah. Gotcha. No. Screws it, yeah, it screws it up. Like I've screwed it up twice on my tablet doing that. Don't write any messages. Don't it? I don't know why it does it, but it does it. Um, I'm trying to remember where we actually started last point because like the whole story is kind of starting to come in as a blur. I remember the whole thing. Oh, we just gotten rid of the centaurs. Um, gotten rid of. We just got rid of the centaurs by you know. I remember I was pretending that I had the plague. <laughs> Which God, I hope I don't have the plague, but who knows? Um, <clears throat> social distance was not enforced, Taryn. No, no, it wasn't. And believe me, well, social distancing also probably wasn't really thought of back in those days. Um, but I do recall that we <clears throat> we went we went and found rooms at at different ends actually, and then there was a knock on my door, and there was a tiefling at the door. To sir, a certain tiefling that traveled with Cole with my door. And otherwise known as, I believe, it's Sprite. There was some discussion on his name. Uh, he came knocking at my door because he wanted to know why I abandoned Cola to <coughs> die by herself. But in reality, I did oh, manage nice. to talk him out of probably killing me right on the spot and he was going to lead us to her grave because she had actually uh absconded with some of my stuff and i had her stuff actually there's a little <laughs> bit more to that i want to add uh Go she first. also was looking for the magical box there was a reward for it and she thought <clears throat> that the magical box was with their belongings of her dead colleague the tiefing was a he yes yeah, whatever no i was, no, I, was I, I, I was the female tiefling yeah, no, I was about to actually get to the box. Was, oh, okay, gonna... sorry. 
her possessions, including our magical box that she stole from us. Um, but somehow the tiefling figured out that we had, you know, Sprite figured out we had it. And on the way down the stairs, more or less was going to try to force us to give it to him. And basically, we gave him a big fat no in the form of um, killing him on the stairs. Uh, excuse me, who killed him exactly? Who I makes a good all, point? We all had a hand in that. Well, was it the good character? You know, do we uh, get uh, preemptive like strike? It was uh, very effective. Uh, hold on, hold on. Doing? If I recall, I actually healed him to try to give him a chance. And then he promptly attacked us again. So then, yes. And I didn't actually do much damage. All I really did was... I, sure, did, I, only, stood, I only stood... You landed the killing kidney. blow, murder. I landed the killing... I don't remember landing the killing blow, but that's okay. Two weeks ago. So we went How and How much we... she cares about human life, people. Or tiefling life. Oh, I had to pay off the innkeeper for Pete's sake. Karen yeah. certainly does. That's why she's actually rather focused on trying to stop the plague <clears throat> and the um, uh, the blight that's going on. And hopefully this session, I'll actually, my character will catch up to me in knowing what is going on. Um, so we also, through some great detective work by Dewey, that was amazing to come up with the um, solution to where she was buried. We got out there and I found my stuff. I ended up digging it up. Found my stuff. Grave very robbing, folks. It's called yeah. grave robbing. Let me guess. Was she in the graveyard? Stuff behind. No, she was not in the graveyard. I would like to add that I was not grave robbing. I was digging a grave. Yeah, you were digging. Of the you... person you murdered. I would like to add, I didn't do shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was digging a hole. I wasn't there. even there. Hey, we can we can let Chris recap his own adventures. Uh, yeah, Chris, tell us about getting your eggs off. Because this is great. I may or may not have a child. Again. You're totally having a child. <laughs> oh, we shall see. Hey, Carol, that was an excellent recap. Folks, join us Tuesday for Between the Rolls. <laughs> Uh, it was not that long. Uh, folks, I uh, pre-rolled before Green Room, and we are going to start with the mess in Rourke. So oh, God. That's a short break here. Uh, Lucas, Taryn, Dewey, with mud on your boots and your hands and the smell of rotting bodies in the air, you hear the ringing of bells marking a joyous occasion, you think, but you aren't certain back in town. So on the other side of the crick, uh, the bells are ringing. That's got to be a good sign, right? Uh, no, I'm pretty sure. There's nothing happy going on in this town right now. <laughs> Everyone surrender, they'll ring the bells and open the gates. <laughs> uh, I look at the other two. I'm like, we should probably get back to town and figure out what that is. Lucas, do we? Uh, and I'm gonna, no, yes. I'm going. But as we go, I'm going to clear the evidence off of myself before I go. That's smart. <laughs> <laughs> Considering you have Billy uh, and the innkeeper with watch. you. No, he didn't come with us. Yeah, he was. Uh, he had to drag the body into the ditch. Oh, he I didn't realize he came with us. I thought we took the body. All right. It was payment by Lucas that uh, made them carry the body rather than you guys doing the heavy lifting, literally. Yep. I cast prestidigitation on myself to clean myself. Lucas? I've been doing I don't think I got dirty. I did not help dig. I did not help do shit. So I'm all right. Shocking. Let's cross the creek and go back into town, shall we? Uh, Lucas, Taryn, Dewey, perception check. Oh, shit. I'm <laughs> ready to go. Mm. 21. Where's perception? Oh, okay. Where's perception? I only a 12. 13. Uh, Dewey, Taryn, you hear nothing, you see nothing. Remember, it is getting dark, slash, it is dark. Lucas, uh, with your keen, uh, elvish hearing, you're picking up the sound of cavalry. From what direction? Uh, it would be northeast. I'm sorry, northwest. Ahead of us? Oh, yeah. It's on the other side of town. Ooh. I keep this information to myself. 
fair enough. Tara and Dewey, uh, as you cross the creek, you notice absolutely nothing. Uh, what would you like to do? Keep going. I want to get back. To back into town, quick luck. You are in town. Where would you like to go? Actually, uh, D12 against me, Dewey. <clears throat> uh, the streets are vacant. Where would you like to go? Uh, the inn to gather the rest of our things. Sure. The scene of the crime. Yes. Pretty much have all my things, but no, he's at a different inn. He went, I think Dewey went to a different inn than we did. Wow. I, I, I think, think everybody I, was at the same inn. Yeah. I think, do, I Dewey's room was. In and, no, Dewey went to a different inn. No, no, no. Dewey's room was across from mine. We were at the same place. Yeah. Oh, I was no, across. Taryn's room was across from yours. Then yeah. why were you there, Dewey? Uh, because I was leading Sprite to Taryn. Oh, okay, that works. Yeah. Yeah, that's so, exactly. Right. So, Dewey, do you want to head to your room while Taryn and Lucas go to theirs? Uh, if that's what they're doing, sure. <laughs> I, I would like to ask to know where Dewey's room's at first before we split up. I'm actually catty corner to you guys. Cool. I'll I'll let you know where we're at. Well, you know that already. So we're good. We can find each I other now. I have um, stuff, by the way. I mean, I don't think I really left anything in there. Most of my stuff was buried in the grave, so. Uh, Lucas, uh, you notice uh, that Dewey's uh, inn is headed in a northwesterly direction. Oh, hey, I, I tell Dewey, uh, listen out for horses. Dewey, go ahead and do an investigation check since you're going to be paying attention. Oh, that's going to be... 19. Yeah, you hear horses. Cool. I heard they make good glue. You're a tinker, Dewey right? <laughs> Dewey continues towards his room. You're the worst druid. Uh, Taryn, Lucas, you guys also head to your room. <clears throat> I'm not going to go to my room because I pretty much have my stuff, but I'm going to go stand outside the inn and I'm going to look around and try if anyone's like running in a hurry or whatever, <laughs> panic or, or anything. Investigation. Um, I'm going to look and see if I see anything marching up the road. Ah! Well, fine. I'm going to investigation. Uh, yep. 19. Uh, you hear horses and you see a cadre of armed individuals a couple blocks down the street. <clears throat> the living, right? I'm sorry? These are living individuals, right? Why wouldn't they be? Because reasons. Meta gaming, Carol. God. Player knowledge v character knowledge. There, v Taryn. Carol. <coughs> uh, Dewey, you go in. Uh, all your shit is still in your room. Lucas, you go in. All your shit is still in your room. This is does nice my room place. have a window? Uh, D twelve against me. Cool, cool, cool. One. Five, no. Okay. I'm going to grab my stuff, head to the stables where I prepaid for some horses. Cool. Uh, Taryn, uh, Dewey, Taryn, D12, tell me who's higher. All right. <clears throat> 11. He is. Uh, Dewey slips out the front while Taryn's looking around, and he heads to the stables. Uh, I don't have a horse anyways, so... Perpetua, you uh, have, we've already spun you ahead of the game. Uh, you have taken off <coughs> and you will be coming into town. I, know, I, didn't, I didn't have the opportunity to stick around and become apprehended. No, you, you made it abundantly clear after your slip of the tongue that you were I'm getting pr the I'm fuck sure out that of that. Was, I'm pretty sure that was off camera though. So yeah, no, no, I'm, I'm not sticking around. Okay. Uh, so you will be coming into play here in just a few minutes. Over to Manise and Fulton. Uh, <laughs> Manise, uh, you have enjoyed the company of your new friend, Ketchup Keat, after shooting her in the face with a crossbow bolt and defeating <laughs> a bunch of Kenku associated with the evil asshole gnomish race. Uh, she has pointed out to you that General Io is giving a speech to the general populace 
today and she is eager to hear it. She was wondering if you would like to accompany her as her paramour. <clears throat> yeah, I think that'd be a good idea. You guys go grab a hearty breakfast and she asks you what you're thinking about. <laughs> this pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> And how beautiful your feathers are. There the you sunlight. go. There you go. That ball only dropped a few times and rolled under the fridge. Uh, <laughs> as she is approached by an individual, uh, short in stature, gnome in uh, build, and the individual whispers something into her ear and she nods her head and shakes her hand away. And then she proceeds to ask you, So, where are you from? Where have you been? Uh, I'm the prettiest Eric Cocker, you know, because I'll kill anybody else. <laughs> um, well, I let her know that I was at the academy for for a while, and then remember, you uh, are classmates. Oh, right. Uh, well, since then, I've just been a little bit here and there, and just about everywhere, really. So, what you thinking about? <laughs> oh, she says uh you know uh, i think if we go back to the inn uh on the balcony it overlooks the town square and we should be able to go ahead and listen to the speech uh in a little bit of peace and quiet sounds good fair enough uh you guys uh finish eating who's picking up the tab i'll tell i'll pick up the tab that's, that's a gentleman gentleman right that's the guy right there, ladies. That's the guy <laughs> you want. Uh, he doesn't need seduction skills. He pays for shit. <clears throat> you guys go back to the inn, but uh, as you go out on the second story balcony, it's a lot like um, New Orleans, uh, open balconies. You're looking into this large cobblestone plaza. Uh, previously, you'd seen where they were building a stage. Uh, there are a lot of people on the balcony and a lot of people on the balconies enclosing this place. So a general I o way, across the way you see Madonna. <laughs> no, Madonna shows up later. Madonna is only six years old and this is 400 years early. <clears throat> uh, you notice that general IO, whoever the fuck this guy is, uh, seems to be uh, drawing a rather substantial crowd. Now, keeping in mind when you originally made contact here, you know that the city gates were somewhat <laughs> bloated with people and the uh, it, it, there was a say a roadblock of sorts at the front gate. So they aren't letting a whole lot of people in but apparently everybody in Fulton is in the plaza waiting to hear General Io speak. Do you have any questions of the people next to you or of ketchup? No, I'm just going to sit down, relax, and wait for the, the speech to start. SRO, baby. Standing room only. <clears throat> okay, we'll stand and wait. So you notice uh, the people are giving you some unusual looks. It's almost like they'd never seen an Aarakocra before, let alone two of you. Uh, your... A uh, newfound friend is speaking close to you and chit-chatting about mundane items, uh, including what you're thinking about. <laughs> uh, as you wait, you notice that the balconies are starting to fill up, uh, but the military seems to have cordoned off the area around the stage. So <clears throat> whatever this shindig's going to be, it's going to be a military uh, event from the looks of it. Give me a perception check. Uh, that'd be 11. You don't notice shit. <clears throat> so, um, you do notice some vendors selling La Rata, uh, and some ale. Uh, but other than that, you don't notice anything unusual around or near you, which is most beneficial. Uh, back to Lucas, Taryn, and Dewey. Uh, Lucas, what are you doing? <clears throat> <clears throat> so, uh, after I got my stuff out of my room, I am going to go explore. Very good. Where at? Well, I am going to go and check and see if there's some uh, bums in some alleys somewhere, I guess. 
Gotta go Rue McClanahan shit. I don't know what that is, but <laughs> uh-huh. I'm sure that you don't. Uh, Taryn, uh, you were it, was, it was Blanche Devereaux. Oh, yeah. Rue McClanahan, the, the hooker, Blanche the hooker, the hooker that he killed. Who's who's Rue something or other? Rue McClanahan played Rue Blanche McClanahan Devereaux played on the Gold Blanche Rules. Blanche Devereaux on the Gold oh. Rules. Yeah. Taryn, Got you're, it. you're Look, outside. It's like a dick and you immediately get that knowledge. It's like magic. Uh, Lucas, give me a stealth check because you see Taryn outside. Let's see if you – do you want to slip past her or do you want to say, hey, I'm, I'm going to go trolling? Uh, I'll let her know. Okay. Taryn uh, <laughs> seems to be going out onto the wire to try and find – Strange, I guess. Did you want to go I'll with follow. or wait for Dewey to come out of the inn? Lucas. Um, wait, I, I, Dewey's not at the inn. I, I, I wouldn't know that. But no, I'm following Taryn because she's the only one in sight. Lucas, I will actually point out the men coming up on horseback. Do we see, boy, can we pick out Bushmill? No, this is not metagaming. I'm trying to figure out how I'm reacting here, okay? So... Not, not from this distance. It's several blocks away and it's dark. So we just see a line of troops heading into town with the bells ringing. You, you see a, well, the bells ring and then they just stop because there's no reason to keep ringing. Uh, you see some men on horseback that appear to be militaristic in nature. <clears throat> what do you make of that? Uh, I don't know. Let's ask them. Hey guys, what's going on? Well, we got to go up to them. They're yeah, you're distance. a couple blocks away. Yeah, well, let's go up and approach them. Very right. good. Dewey, as you get to the stables, you notice that there are a lot of cavalry guys here. And give me a perception check. All right. Oh, 17. What? Some of them wear a crest that you are intimately familiar with. Lord Bushmill's crest. Cool. Do any of them recognize me? <coughs> they do not. Okay. They are too uh, busy trying to figure out how to quarter their horses. Uh, you notice that there are a good 50, 75. There's, there is a shitload of troops here, and they are milling about trying to get camp set up. Yeah, I'll grab like one of the stragglers. Hey, hey, you work for Lord Bushmill, right? D12 against me. D12. 11. 12. Oh, nice. I, I work for his lordship. What can I do for you? Is he in town? Yes, he's over in the command tent. Why are there so many of you guys here? We're looking for some wanted individuals from Fink. <laughs> you wonder who they are. people to do that? These people are notorious criminals and they're extremely dangerous. They're also, uh, I believe, responsible for the blight upon our country. Shit. Have you seen any of them? I have. <laughs> well, there's also a letter for Lord Bushmill at the post office that you may want to get for him. A letter? Yeah. <clears throat> I do not understand. What is the missive for? Uh, it's for Lord Bushmill. Can you go get it? What's his in intelligence like? Five? I'm, I'm not. I'm not a cavalry guy. <laughs> it, it was. It, it was. It was a certified letter. He, it requires a signature. Hey, shut up! You aren't there yet. <laughs> <laughs> good. Good point. Look, look, pal. I'm very busy. I've been assigned to go get his quarters. I, I'll, I'll tell Lord Bushmill, or you can go over to the command tent and tell him yourself. See those two hulking fuckers over there? Those giant guards? You can go sure. tell them. Okay. Would I recognize them? Perception check. As individuals? Uh, two. No, they're strangers. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd like to go get my horses now. That's fair. Mm -hmm. uh, you go over there. Uh, and... Karen and Lucas, what are you guys doing? We were going to uh, them too and probably have a very similar conversation. <clears throat> you will be, uh, give me an odd even. Odd even, all right, so. Odd. Even? <laughs> You're on the opposite side of the street with some other guards. Uh, give me a D12. 
So one question I have for you on this, is this like a lot more men that they had than they had at Fink? Oh, yes. Okay, I just wanted to check that. Eight. Four. Uh, you also notice the, uh, the standard of Lord Bushmill on these guys, and they are getting uh, food. They're at the Actually, local takeout place. Uh, this is Lucas, do you know who you recognize that crest? Uh, yeah, he's the fucker who barged into our manor that other time and tried to attack us. Bushmill. Yeah. Do you want to them or do you want to avoid them? Well, I mean, Lord Bushmill seems kind of like a dick and has a thing out for us for no reason. So, yeah, I kind of want to avoid them. Sorry. <laughs> um, I mean, that's fair. Uh, I mean, to actually, out of character, isn't Blake the only one who's actually really done anything exempt against Bushmill, like killing his son or something? You lightning bolted Lord Bushmill. Manise kicked him in the face. <laughs> Dewey spilled the beans, and Blake sneered at him and got his ass handed to him. Yeah, I hit him with the lightning bolt because he attacked me in my bed. Exactly. He Blake was waking you up. <laughs> Bushmill's a dick. We need to hurry up and kill him. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he. I'm in my room trying to sleep, and some stranger in armor tries to shove me and wake me up. Of course, I'm gonna react. That charges into my my manor that's legally mine as the lady <laughs> of the house. Lucas, Taryn, Dewey, bells ring out, but they are an entirely different tone. Bells uh -oh. they are ringing. How, how do the soldiers react? Lucas, uh, they are startled. Uh oh. This I'm gonna sound go. Good. I'm gonna go talk to them, but feel free to stay here. I'm not even gonna. Can't talk. Gotta go. Uh, why? I go grab my horses. Hang on. They uh they go ahead and uh bolt off. Uh, Blake, or I'm sorry, Perpetua, Lucas, Taryn, Dewey, D12s. Ah, three. Eight. Let's love his bed. Three, eight, seven, and four. Four. Three, four, eight, seven. Lucas, you look over, you spot Dewey. Dewey, you look over with your ponies, you see Lucas. Taryn, you see Perpetua. Uh, Perpetua, you see Taryn. Uh, Perpetua <laughs> is leaving the area predefined as the command tent. Lucas, Dewey, hey, you're across the street from each other. But Lu Lucas and I are pretty close together. You're like I run right over next to Dewey. To each other. Yeah, and I'll, I will point out. Look, it's Perpetua. You point out, and you're like, Sh uh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> he just ran across to Dewey. Yep. <laughs> Actually, you know what? All four of you, initiative. Initiative. Oh. Okay. To see who gets where when. Right, no, that's fine. Uh, 22. Six. <coughs> 22. Ooh. What was yours, Lucas? 15. Taryn, Dewey, what do you want to do first? Uh, Dewey, I'll you... trot over to Lucas and say, hey, we got the horses and the cavalry's looking for us. Um, uh, I know which way they ran off. Let's go the other way. Dewey and Taryn... <laughs> The whole intersection fills with troops coming out of fucking every corner imaginable. It's like somebody threw confetti uh, up into the air. Uh, they're everywhere, and they are not paying any attention to you. On, on my 22, I'm going to point out Perpetua to them. It's Perpetua. Well, Dewey's not in a position, and Lucas is starting to move so that that works lucas uh you hear the 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 perpetua blah 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 cool well i'm still next to taryn and dewey came over to me yeah so they, i assume they would hear me lucas will hear you for sure dewey yeah. uh give me a perception roll passive uh, passive because you aren't expecting her Ten. to talk. Yeah, you hear her anyway. Uh, you hear Taryn go, hey, hey, look, look, everybody. It's Perpetua. Hey, Perpetua's here. Perpetua, you're up. Um, I'm only, I only want the, 
no one else was really paying attention. Right? So I wouldn't have left the F as soon as I left the camp, I wouldn't have been Perpetua anymore, but we'll go ahead and play it this way. So that. Oh, I thought you things. were. Yeah, I thought you were. Yeah. Sorry. No, 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 no. I, I, I wouldn't have been just because I'm trying to get, get away from there and I don't know where you guys are, but we'll keep it that way just because I'm, I'm tired of dealing with this. So <laughs> I, I, I noticed Taryn. I'll, I'll. You also notice troops coming out the woodwork, including cavalry men, mostly, mostly behind me. through. M mostly behind me. No, everywhere. I thought I was at. The, I thought I was leaving the camp. You're you're cutting through the camp. You you've left. It, it's not really a camp because they're camped oh, inside. Okay, okay. Roar. They, they, they're they're set up all over town. I was just at the correct at the, at the main hub. Gotcha. You were at the command center. Okay. So now you got if you gonna if you want to go over to Taryn, Lucas, and Dewey, you're gonna have to wait a minute or dodge fucking heavy cavalry. I'll and fucking guys change my fucking thighs to get through legs and shit. I don't give a shit. I'm a little halfling. Uh, give me three d20 straight up. If there's a one or a two, you got problems. Come on. Four, eight, and three. Uh, you nearly get clipped, but you manage to use your halfling ability to squeeze on through, meet up with your friends. I assume Taryn, Lucas, and Dewey have all backed out of the street or yes. risk getting I'll run wait, over. I'll wait. Well, if I see her coming, I'll wait till she gets here and then. No, no, I'm making, I'm making the sign that says move. Oh, okay. I, I, I'm, I'm, my, my intention is to inform them that we need to get out of this place now because we are about to be at ground zero. Taryn, give me one D20 straight up. Oh, God. 18. Yeah, she follows your direction, uh, manages to back up. Dewey, how many horses did you get? Uh, so you guys are all standing on what would be a sidewalk 300 years from now. Uh, and Perpetua is rather insistent that you get the fuck out of here. Uh, as you cross the street, you dodge the traffic. Perpetua, do you want to verbalize anything or just? Yeah, what do you want to say to us? <clears throat> I, I, right now, while we're still in time, there's no, there isn't any time. We need to leave. They, the, there's zombie, There's a horde of the undead coming. They're right behind me. We, I, I made the, the what I did the, you do? I made, the military, <laughs> I made the military aware. That's why they're rallying. They're going to defend the town. We need to be elsewhere. I agree uh, with that. We have no cleric. Wait, how are they? Hey, we have only two horses. No time for questions. There's a Lucas horse. Is, there. Lucas, is, a Lucas horse. is my horse. Dewey yes. is already on top of a horse. Then I'll take and a If horse. I can, I'm going to reach down, grab Perpetua. Holler on my horse because I'm a gnome. Oh and yeah. Start riding out of town while holding on. Uh, give me an acrobatics check to grab perpetual. Can I can I flail around wildly at Dewey's touch? Sure. <laughs> uh, acrobatics at disadvantage. Oh yes, I'm so happy. That is a 19. At disadvantage? I'm a rogue, bitch. Uh, <laughs> That's right, he double Fries, come on. Uh, Perpetua, despite your uh, menstruations, uh, you're grabbed by the scruff of your collar and heaved up onto the horse. I assume you want to go south. The opposite direction of where we came from, of where I came from. South, right? Uh, they came from the east. Oh, where I, where I came from. I, I know the direction where I came into town at. I do not want to go back that way. That would be west. They going, came in from the east with the centaurs. Okay, yes, we go out. We go out the way that I didn't come in. That's, North I'm, I'm, is. I'm, I'm shouting all these directions. I'll explain later. I'm. I'm. We're just. I think for right now we're just out of town, just far enough to be out of the shit. Store. Hey, hey yes. Blake, is North safe? Uh, Frank, is North safe? Did I? Uh, do I know? They came from the west and a little bit south. Okay, uh, so if I'm remembering correctly, there was. Uh, they, they, there was a southwest contingent and a southeast contingent. The the military was one, and the zombies were the other. Military is from the northwest, from Fink. The other then, creatures are from the southwest. They're they're actually west southwest because they were you were paralleling them. Okay, so we do want to go back out the way that they were that they came from. Huh. 
I'm confused. How, how many exits are there to town? There's no walls here. Okay, so we can leave in any direction? For for game purposes, Lord Bushmill came in at 11 o'clock. Okay, thank the you. The Horde where, came in at 8 o'clock. You came in are, at 9. Where are the, where is the contingent going to intersect? Ground zero, Rourke. Yeah, right. at, what, at what degree or what, what, what time? 8 o'clock, directional gonna, 8 o'clock. They're going to be, okay, they're at 8 o'clock. I said we're going to 3. So back where the centaurs were, where Taryn and Dewey and Lucas came from. Effect effectively, yes, because we don't want to go that way. That's yeah, fair. we want to go to Battle Keep and ignore this shit storm. <clears throat> That's fair. Maniz, uh, the crowd is really just amped at this guy's speech. Uh, is there anything you want to ask Ketchup before uh, this debacle starts? I don't know, just kind of looking around, making sure I'm not going to, you know, get attacked or anything like that, but <laughs> just uh, just waiting to see what's going on. Uh, give me uh, two D12s, please. Twelve oh. and six. Give me a sec here. Helps when my D12's not under my... Uh, Ten and a seven. Uh... You aren't, you aren't getting very uh, feel-good vibes from two individuals looking at you, and I will take another perception check, please. <clears throat> That'll be 10. Other than that, you don't notice anything. Uh, <laughs> God, no. Uh, the crowd is thick with citizens as the announcement for General Io's speech draws near. Ketchup Keat receives a tug on her cloak by a strange-looking individual. A few moments of hushed discussion has her excuse herself briefly, lover. <clears throat> Your vantage point on the balcony of the inn gives you a bird's eye view of stage left. A roar is heard and movement near the stage is detected. Oh, no. A man in full military garb approaches the stage with several individuals that appear to be what you would consider high ranking civilian individuals. Uh, as you look to the left where ketchup went, give me a perception check. Not 20. She is stopped at the end of the balcony where there is stairs going down and she is with the somewhat short individual. You couldn't really tell what they were. Uh, they were not purebred, uh, but she seems to be talking in a small area that's a little bit open. Uh, as your vision returns to the stage, give me yet another perception check. Probably support making 14. Like we're going to be scalping Nazis here soon. 14 is good enough. You notice that one individual in the crowd is doing this. Only he's not looking at the stage. He's looking at you. Oh, my God. <clears throat> so. Uh, By the way. This is a little this is a little bit long-winded oratory, but bear with me. Uh, the collective climbs up above the crowd or climbs above the crowd below, and General Io, you assume, raises his arms to call for quiet. The crowd goes silent, and the powerful military bearing allows him to project his voice very well. He greets the crowd warmly and thanks Magistrate Lorena Masick for allowing him to address the ensemble. A stately woman in robes nods, but looks worried as the warrior seems to give her a smug look. The man begins an inflammatory oratory, stating that the populace outside of Fulton should blame infiltrators from outside Sedellus for their problems. Excuse me, he holds aloft a parchment proclaiming that renegade heroes from the Academy are responsible for this blight. He points <laughs> out that he received this missive not an hour ago from a solid source. A boo rises from the crowd that is entranced by the speech and seems to concur with the rhetoric spewed by this individual. 
Trust, this trust me on this. Trust me on this. Tr trust me on this. <laughs> this is the greatest speech ever. It is clear <laughs> that the man is quite passionate and his hand gesturing sweeps the crowd into a frenzy. His blame on the heroes is expanded to all foreigners responsible for all the troubles faced by the hardworking civilians of Sedalus. Gonna put a this, wall up around, gonna put a wall up. The speech <laughs> begins to take an angrier turn as the xenophobic dialogue ramps up to the crowd and you begin to shift nervously as the general names off foreign races he believes responsible for this problem including Arakakra. <laughs> Several <laughs> people near you take notice. Give me a perception check. And what are the other races? Elf? 20. Not How much you fuckers. <laughs> Out of the corners of your eye, you notice you're getting a lot of shit looks. Uh, several people take, uh, several people near you take notice and shoot dirty glances at you. You consider leaving, but are hemmed in on the balcony by a multitude of people. The magistrate appears angry at uh, the progression of the speech and steps forward, lightly touching the general's arm. He turns just as a crossbow bolt comes from in front of the stage and strikes the woman in the eye. <laughs> She pitches backwards, but General Io, with his fantastic dexterity, grabs a hold of her and cradles her, using his back to protect her from further attacks. But no shot comes. The crowd in front of the stage scrambles for cover, and the warrior looks down into the plaza and points. Arrest that man. As military surges into the plaza, pushing people out of the way roughly they converge on one individual that you can tell and gang tackle him the shouting by the general demands calm and the plaza opens up into a large circle around the assassin and a bloodied half elf is dragged forward he begins to speak but is punched in the throat and is subsequently knocked unconscious a senior military man holds aloft a crossbow, the presumed weapon. General Io orders the man to drag that creature to jail. Magistrate Masick begins to come to as her clerical senses seem to have started to heal her when another bolt strikes her in the heart. <laughs> Give me a perception check to see if you notice where it came from. Catch up. From the, Frank, we know it came from the grassy knoll. <laughs> That's a uh, 17. You follow the people pointing, a la Martin Luther King Jr., and they are pointing at the end of your balcony, where moments before you saw ketchup. <laughs> uh, You're an associate. Oh, Fly man. away. <laughs> It's a good thing Perpetua has this other per persona like already picked out. Is is his her name is a Jacqueline Ruby? <laughs> <laughs> Blood spurts out of the chest as the magistrate falls to the ground. It appears to be a fatal wound. She falls lifeless out of General Io's arms, and he whips out a blade and points towards the second shooter. The crowd on the balcony surges towards you and dives through windows to try and get away from the hellish nature beyond. Give me another perception check. 17. You catch a glimpse of some military men tackling ketchup and a gnome. A glowing net is tossed over your associate and she goes limp. The gnome is putting up quite a fight and knocks one of the military members over the balcony before being tackled by several others. The military man knocked over the edge lands on a post and is impaled and is dead. Fucking gnomes. <clears throat> a blade shines in the light and you witness it plunge into the demi-human's chest. Blood spurts out of his mouth and ketchup is also tossed over the side and lands awkwardly on a railing next to the impaled individual. Another group of warriors quickly tackle the bird creature and the warrior on the balcony 
gives a thumbs up to General Io, who nods in acknowledgement. The warrior raises his arms and in a boisterous voice calls for calm. This, this is what I warned of. The scourge of the outsiders have taken the life of our beloved magistrate. In the name of Fulton, I, General Io, declare martial law immediately. Dirty looks are spotted from the few people remaining on the balcony and they are all aimed at you. You feel a pit in your stomach grow. What would you like to do, Aarakocra? <laughs> oh, so, so I'm going to fly away. No, um, yeah, I'm going to fly away, actually. Yeah, that's the idea. best move. Right? <laughs> <laughs> fly away. <laughs> bunch of armed crossbow. Fuck man. this shit. Fly away. I'm out of here. Um, give, me and, D, give me a D6, Manise. You have the constitution of a hummingbird. <laughs> <laughs> Three. Three it is. Three individuals spot you taking off like the glorious falcon you always dreamed to be. Go. Steen rolls. <laughs> A one shoots an individual next to you, knocking them <laughs> off the balcony, also impaling them. However... Did you see that? Aaron Cochran knocked over that person and killed him. <laughs> there was a little old lady. It was a child. Uh, the two 19s, however, probably connect with you. Yep. Shouts go out. <laughs> get him. Get him. Get him. Or her. We aren't really sure. It's a fucking bird. Whew. Uh, take eight hit points of damage. Are you okay? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, well, we, we know you're very fragile. Fragile. Uh, I'm squishy. More bolts fill the air uh, as they're <clears throat> shooting at you. What direction would you like to go? Um, well, By the way, the plaza is in absolute fucking turmoil. You got a dead mayor, a dead guard, probably a dead child because Manise pushed him over in his escape, <laughs> uh, and uh, a dead gnome and ketchup is captured. <laughs> what, which direction would you like to go? Please tell me fly directly over the plaza so I can just light you up. <laughs> oh, well, whatever way would be the fastest way out. Up and over the rooftop. Yeah, exactly. Like, I assume there's like a wall surrounding the village or... Oh, yeah. this is a city. This is a major city. Oh, okay, okay, city. And yes, uh... Good news, bells toll. <laughs> Give me a D4. Four. Wall guards are alerted at the tolling bells. Look up into the sky and see you soaring high. First one at disadvantage. Shoots another civilian in the plaza as a crossbow bolt just comes right out of nowhere and kills somebody. My God. Oh my this God, he's firing back at us. In the distance, you hear, oh my God, he's shooting at us. Number two. Uh, 15 and 16 plus three. Does an 18 get you? Uh, I ties. Okay. Number three. Miss. Solid miss, though. Didn't kill anybody. <laughs> Uh, another solid miss didn't kill anybody. I think those last two bolts went into that first dead body. Uh, you're going to take three hit points of damage uh, as you cross over the wall. They're trying to reload as fast as they can, uh, but they are not going to get another shot at you. So you okay. sail back, I'm assuming, towards your original perch where the Kenku were. Yeah, so it's somewhere where I can at least um, stop Lock for arrows. a <laughs> yeah, flex some arrows, heal myself, uh, and use my magical sending stone thing to <laughs> <laughs> that Windows that Windows XP background. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Anyways, yeah. um, and I'll I'll message Lucas. D don't come to think everything has gone to shit. Fulton. Where are you? <laughs> That's the right Everybody point. wants to kill us. <laughs> uh, we, we're in Rourke. 
FYI, there's an army attacking it right now. So, uh, well, actually, hang on. So, Manise, you you know that Ketchup told you it's a very short message. You have to make it all encompassing. So, is that the message you want to send out? Avoid Fulton places shithole. And where are you? Should be three three short little blurbs, and yeah. you're sending it to Lucas. To Lucas, yeah. Uh, Lucas, while you're wandering around town during the afternoon before Perpetua oh. returns, before you kill the tiefling, <clears throat> before, you know what? Fuck it. Let's make it the next day. So let's go back to Rourke. Uh, you guys are hightailing your ass out uh, via the east side. And, and did you want to go north towards Battle Keep or south towards Yaddle? I, I kind of want to go north towards Battle Keep because we know it's related to uh, the Rod of Catching to seal the if, evil. If, yeah, if, after we've gotten a, a fairly sizable <laughs> distance from town, do we want to actually like share information? Yes. 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 Share away. I know the folks at home are probably very much confused. Um, well, I let everyone know that, you know, this evil that escaped the magic box that we all know of, um, there is a rod of catching that goes along with it that has been split up into three parts. One part is not too far from here in Battle Keep. Um, and <coughs> we and I were there previously and we were overwhelmed by some phase spiders. So I think all four of us could potentially take them on though. Maybe we can get... We have to see if we can find Manise. It'd be better to have him, obviously. Manise okay. joined the angry Derogenous sect and trying to kidnap and kill me. I thought it was erogenous sect. Oh, oh everything's erogenous. Oh, you can't see me rubbing my nipples on this camera. <laughs> oh, my. we like this camera then. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, have, I have questions, guys. Yeah. So, Dewey, you mentioned that they're after. You guys? Us? I'm part of you guys not, now. Not me. No, actually, Perpetua, they're one opposed to No, the, the erogenous the <laughs> zone isn't after me. Huh? No, no. The Calvary. Oh, the oh, oh, oh. After you. They're, what, there were centaurs with wanted posters on it looking for you, Perpetua. It's thinking that you had something to do with the blight and the plague. They were Which looking for me. Hang on, hang on. What exactly were they looking for? You as a halfling. Okay. You, no, as, as a changeling. As a change. Well, no, they were. No, they they actually were looking. I, I thought. I thought player knowledge. I thought they were after a bad joke teller. They were after a changeling that could play the flute and told bad jokes. Oh, that. Was <laughs> that was the centaurs. <laughs> that's, oh, that's I thought. What we're talking about. No, that is what you guys told him. I don't know why you all have it in for me. I swear. But, no, I, but, but what, they, 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 they were looking for a change lane because they had they had silver spears. They were trying to. They were poking everyone. Yeah, but they also but they also were looking for you in your halfling form because they were looking at cola especially hard. I had cola with me for a while. Now, 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 Frank. <laughs> Remind me, were they looking, because the way it, you kept phrasing it, they were looking for a changeling and a halfling. Mm -hmm. so yeah. They for They're also people. looking for the others as well, looking, but you are the primary one because okay, so we they, threw so you were, under the they, bus they, at Torgal Manor. When they were phrasing that, they meant that as one person, not two people. Yeah, you didn't, like, they Frank? aren't sure. Frank, out of game. Uh -huh. um, no, you, the way you, the way you, I remember that whole interaction, Perpetual was the only one mentioned because I kind of wonder why the others weren't mentioned. And then the <clears> others <throat> went through, and they didn't even mention those two. So you got to remember, I, there are actually three different wanted posters out there. Right. Manise has right. seen two of them. You guys are familiar with one. Manise right. has also heard that from the uh, brothers of Sunshine or whatever the fuck they were. <laughs> the heroes are being sought after. Manise also just heard that these group of heroes are being sought after. For purposes of Perpetua, they are not sure if she's going to be in changeling form or halfling form. Okay, right. so they, they were they were just throwing an all-encompassing. We think it might. We think she might be okay. That is why Cola was getting the side I, eye. Okay, I thought you were describing two people back then. 
No. One of the poster we found is something from Lord Bushmill looking for who killed his son or, okay. And Maniz has found the other two for the bigger picture. Correct. Dewey just found out that they're searching for the heroes who started the blight, heroes who started the blight. I, so Lord Bushmill's troops. Right. I guess in a matter of speaking, you kind of did by unintentionally, I would assume it was unintentionally letting whatever was in this box out of this box. There's still something in the box. Yeah, there's, well, a, there, there's, there's, a, there's a goblin in the box. Yeah, the <laughs> goblin is still there. But, but... In the box? My, my response to all of this is <coughs> that I know exactly why they're after me, and I know why they're looking for a changeling. I saw this necromancer <laughs> on the way over here. He's a fucking changeling. What? Uh, a, a necromancer? Yes, that's where, where the fuck do you think all these undead came from? Well, you haven't seen any? I, well, th that's because we got out of there fast enough for them to not be an issue. You saw a whole troop of dead. Hadra, that's why, that's why we had to leave. I did not want to stick around there because they were coming. That, that, town is, that town's lost. Yeah, fuck it. It's not like we're heroes or anything. Well, we were, I, I heroically alerted the military. Yeah, you, we did our part. Let's leave and go fight this greater evil. But, but just because I can see the confusion on Terran's face, no, I'm, lying normal. You, I'm lying to you and trying to pass off the fact that the person who's I have discovered is in charge of all of this is also a changeling. Damn it. I thought I was finally figuring out who the big bad was. Do you want to know? You, you did, but he's lying to you. <laughs> hey, the clues, I now have all the clues pretty much that I had when I figured it out. Because now I know this dead. And if you want to actually throw it in, this is going to be a war. Well, yeah, yeah, we know that. The town is lost. I saw that there was a troop. I look at Perpetua and I go, do you actually realize what you guys let out of the box? I didn't let shit out of the box. No, Lucas, no, Lucas, no. Lucas, that was Ernie. <laughs> Lucas let shit out of the box. Lucas knocked it over. Do you know what it is we're dealing with? Because I think I might know. Pestilence. No, I have Change no idea. The necromancer. Tanner, I, you listen to him. I was going to say, I just told you. Look, if, if we go and get the changeling necromancer, <coughs> we can prove your innocence, and then we can talk to Lord Bushmill about his son, if that it was his son that you killed. I was uh, going to say, I, I really don't think that was even, I don't even think that was his son. I bet the necromancer actually killed him too. The other person we killed was just some fat guy. I think we have to deal with four things, not one. Well, we do eventually, but right now, the what thing we that we don't need to deal with is back that way. We need to keep going. So what do we you, say, you say that forward, the direction that we're going, is but something that will put all this time. That will, that will put changeling the, necromancer be when he's focusing, throwing a bunch of undead forward? He, I, he's he's been behind. behind. We could do a flank. I, I read that in the book. Um, I, I think this is a very, very powerful magic object that they had to store this necromancer in. So yeah. I think us... By ourselves won't be able to take it down. I think we need this rod of catching. Our, our best, our best bet is yes. work out. If, if, you know, if you know where we can obtain this rod, that is our best bet: is to go and try and obtain that so that we can put it back in the box after we let the goblin out. But we let the goblin out later. Yeah, I'll be honest. I don't think we can kill this evil. I think it has we can, to. We, can, we can't not without the rod. That's why we need to go get the rod. Right. I don't exactly. Praying it. But it's just a changeling. It's no, like no, 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 no. Except like I saw him like change shape like seventeen times. He's got like all of them. He's, he he can he can be like all of them. He's got them all down. Yes, that's because he's way powerful. Yeah, yeah, totally, you guys. Something like really bad out of this box. Oh, you guys let the end of the world out of the box. I didn't let shit out of the box. Not you, whoever it was. was It was Lucas, right? I can no. Bear. It was the bear. It was a bear. It was a bear. <laughs> bear. Okay, so this bear let the end of the world out of the box. And it was oh, an no. accident. The, 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 world, the <laughs> world didn't end. No, I actually buy that it was an accident. I, I think if you knew what was in there, 
you would never in a million. Ben, what's in there, Taryn? Tell us. Oh, I'm Open it look. facing Perpetua. <laughs> yeah, you know how we do it. <laughs> you did, Your Honor, is because you technically figured it out before me. But if you want, I'll say it. I don't care. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to. It, I, what, I, I want Taryn to say it if Taryn knows. Cut to my knees. <laughs> <laughs> Well, hi, Benise, you uh, sail over the city walls of Fulton. You escape the barrage of crossbow bolts. You manage to return to the tree filled with dead kinku uh, and examine your body with multiple holes from crossbow bolts. And you take time to ponder what the fuck just happened. Um, did you want to heal yourself? Uh yes. Uh, <laughs> so, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do uh, just a basic cure wounds. That was <coughs> nine total. So I'll do that. Uh, did I get an answer back from Lucas? Well, you haven't sent that yet. So okay, so I'm gonna send that now. Okay. Uh, you are hunkered down, you sit it in a safe place, you've managed to collect your thoughts. It's <coughs> kind of late in the day. Uh, we'll say you were doing a late lunch before you listen to General Io's speech instead of early on in the morning because it makes better sense for timing. Uh, Lucas, as you guys stop outside of Rourke briefly to go ahead and get your bearings, you get a sending message uh, in your head, and it is, uh, Fulton is a shit show, stop. Do not come this way, stop. Where are you at? Stop. And you get Here's this feeling that you can probably give short, choppy sentences in return. We are north of Rourke, heading towards Battle Keep. Meet us there. Who are you talking meet us to? At, meet us there. Yeah, I like that. We're good. Why, why, why are you talking to yourself? What? Yeah, why you, yeah, why are you Manise, talking? Manise, you get the message. <laughs> All the ships at sea. What would you like to do? Yeah. All the ships where, sir? All the ships at sea. It's, all, it's an old bad joke. Some some more some more uh, Eisenhower administration shit. Don't worry. That's right. Uh, so <laughs> so they want uh, Mani or pff, Lucas wants you to go to Battle Keep. That is where they are headed. Battle Keep. All right. I'm just outside Fulton. Well, I guess I'll uh, start making. Well, no, wouldn't Battle Keep be bad? The, the further north we go, the worse it is. <laughs> from what I remember, from what you heard, it is. Um, is it a one-time use this message thing, or can I send him another message? D twelve uh, against me. Uh, I originally no, no. said one. Yeah, because specifically it was a tri stone with three with two. Uh, seven, eight. So yeah, nope. Uh, the you notice that there's a large fissure in that stone, and it appears to be dull. All right. Well, I guess I will begrudgingly start making my way towards Batel Keep. It's it's the burner sending stone that your girlfriend used. <laughs> right. Yes. Couldn't check messages on it. Uh fair enough. Uh Lucas. There's no other message. Cool. I guess my uh my message got across, I guess. I don't know. We'll we'll uh, figure it out later. What did uh, you hear? Huh? You can what tell them what you heard. Yeah, we're no. all like talking to yourself, man. What, what did you hear? What 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 were you saying? Well, I'm just a lonely druid. Don't worry about me. I'm the crazy one. I worry about all of you. I mean, <laughs> you know, I think we have a real. All right, are, I'll, are we, I'll slip. I'll slip. I'll slip. Lucas, three gold. What did, what did you hear? Uh, I whisper to uh, Perpetua. Yeah, Maniz is on his way to Battle Keep. He says, avoid Fulton. Perception check, Lucas, Blake, Dewey, and Taryn. Oh, that's good. 15. 
18. 13. Uh, 18. Uh, Perpetua, Taryn, as you're trying to pry the information out of Lucas's tight lips, in the distance where Rourke is at, a huge ball of fire rises. See, told you, good thing we left there. Uh, yeah, we need to put an end to this. Yeah, we do. You want to know what it is? Suicide. I do suicide. Pull out a dagger and I go walking. <laughs> 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 I think I think I got a Hari Kari blade from that like werewolf like silverware merchant or something. Barberware. Faberware. Yeah. That's right. Oneida. It's Oneida. The wonders. Oneiders. Uh okay. Uh Manise, you're gonna get as far as the swamp where you fought the magic carp. Um uh, day one. Uh, the rest of you. I'm gonna. I'm gonna need a rest. I can't do anything until I rest. Well, how far away from Rourke do you want to go? Uh, I mean, as long as we're not necessarily worried about engaging in battle, but I'm, I'm making it known to everyone that I had to. I had. I. I'm not at capacity. I had to get through everything to make it in, <laughs> in time to warn everyone. Lucas do and Dewey, do you want to tell them what you've seen on this path from Battle Keep? Yeah, I'll fill them in. You got uh, at least one Cyclops out there looking around. Oh, yeah. There's a Cyclops out there. Be wary. Yeah, he can only look in one direction. <laughs> yeah, and for some reason, he notices you before you have a uh, chance to react. Hmm, sounds like, sounds like he was created by a dick. Yup. Oh. So, uh, it was dark... Uh, you guys tell me how far away you want to get from Rourke. Uh, Perpetual has confirmed she's going to need a rest because she got no spell points. I, I'm rested up, so I can uh, yeah. watch. We can, yeah, we but, but I mean, if, if we want to keep going and rest closer there to put some more distance between us, I'm, I'm fine with that, but don't expect much from me. No, we'll take care of you if we have to. Okay, the rest of us are, are we're all okay. <laughs> Give you the necktie. We're gonna yeah, lose this yeah. battle. Perpetual. Don't worry. Don't worry. We'll take care of her. Don't worry. We got it. So wait, did you? So do you guys want to know what you we're up against? What I believe Taryn knows. I don't want to ruin it for the people at home if Taryn doesn't know. Yeah. I no Taryn. I I'm basically the same clues. I have the same clues when I figured it out, and I figured Taryn is probably smarter than me. If I can figure it out. She can figure it out. Got to be a better joke teller. That's for fucking sure. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I'm a terrible joke teller, all right? So basically, it's been rolling around in my brain for a while about what the, what the end result of the blight actually is. It's, originally, I thought this thing was about disease. The blight is a disease of plants. The plague is a disease of humans. So I thought that was what it was. But now with all the undead on the field and with what I think is going to be the equivalent of war, the end result of a blight... Back is to my knees! <laughs> you had six seconds. Kyle, did you figure it out yet? <laughs> nope. My knees, uh, do you want to try and uh, catch a magic carp again or just say fuck it and sleep in a boathouse? No, I'll just sleep in the boathouse. It's fine. It's uh, well after midnight by the time you arrive there. Uh, give me a d12 against me, please. That is a nine. There is nobody at the boathouse. You can sleep till morning. Okay, Perfect. Taryn, finish your line of thought. All right. Where was I? So basically the end result of the blight will there be no food, starvation, or famine. The plague. Back to my knees. <laughs> you get it now, Kyle? <laughs> I didn't tell you. I didn't tell you he was on. I didn't tell you the necromancer was on horseback. I never said that. That's not actually how I drew the conclusion. Okay. Well, no, I, I know. But, 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 but Perpetua didn't say that. No, and it had nothing to do with that. Okay. It was actually the blight that was to me what gave it away. The the, the horde of locusts looked an awful lot like a pestilence. 
I didn't see the Horta Locust, so okay, go on, go on, go on. Wait, or, are there four of these things? Yes. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, it we is. we haven't we haven't seen the red one yet. Wait, there's I I okay, okay. cool. Let's go with it. Perception Kyle. check, Lucas, Blake, Dewey, and Taryn. Kyle, do you get it yet? Fifteen. Sixteen. Ten. Everybody but Taryn, because she was talking, yep. notices a campsite uh, ahead, uh, maybe six, eight hundred yards. Uh, an, an active campsite, like with people, or like an, an abandoned one? Uh, there's a green light, so. Green light? Red. Oh, it's red flickering, light. flickering light. Like a campfire. Yeah. yeah. So red, like a normal color, not green. Karen, shut up. There's light up ahead. We don't want to learn. <laughs> hey, Two tents, it. the closer you get. Uh, want to sneak up on them? Are yes. There any, are, are, does, does it seem like a military camp? Exactly. Not with two tents. Oh, well, they might be stragglers. They don't, they're not flying a, a standard or anything? Nope, just two tents and a campfire. Okay. How good they for those tents? I, met, I bet that they're friendly. I met the sweetest little old lady that <laughs> I, I think it's probably safe. Yeah, let's send in Perpetua the child. Oh, yes, yes. I, I, I'm, I'm six years younger. I'll now, go I look like, now I look like I'm four. I'll, I'll go Great. with her. Great, and has no spells. You're sending her into unknown waters. No, Great call. I'll go with her. Oh yeah, oh, no, I'm, the joke no, I, going. no, without I, any spells, I wouldn't have volunteered to go. No, I'm not. I, I'm not going. That's right, you can't. Um, You'll go in. Okay, let's send in the raging bard or the raging uh, gnome. I'll, 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 go, I'll follow behind to lend some I'll support, but I'm not going to be in the front. Go with them. So, Lucas, are you going to go with the other three? I'll hang back to see what happens at first. It's not a bad. Uh, <laughs> You enter into camp, uh, Dewey, you're leading D12 against me. Well, it's the one with 12 sides, two. Uh. Ho, stranger, friend or foe? I don't know who you are yet. Your answer depends on who I am. Are you yeah, one of criminals? I end up being like, oh, I'm a friend, but then you end up being part of this this sect that wants to kill me and, and destroy knowledge. Are uh, you? Are, I'm, not, I'm a foe. Well, they're not gnomes, right? They're not gnomes, right? Not all gnomes are part of the sect. Taryn! <laughs> Hashtag not all gnomes. Racist. <laughs> not the racist. I thought they were. I see you. where the problem with this group is. And it's a bard. <laughs> oh, yeah, but I say that. Hey, Kyle, have you figured it out yet? Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. Uh, folks at home, it's one of those nights. Uh, it, you, you, were, you were checking the clock to think that, okay, it's time. Can I quit yet? Oh, <laughs> uh, no. I, I was looking at uh, Manise's background now that he's changed it to friends. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and checking and checking my notes here. Uh, the clock's over there. Uh, so uh, this individual appears to be dressed in a leather suit of leather armor. Uh, looks like your standard adventuring folk, and your response puzzles him greatly. And he goes, "Well, I don't belong to any sect." Let me see what his intelligence is. <clears throat> so I'm not quite sure i don't recognize you so i really don't care so i'll ask you again friend or foe i, I probably friend will them. barge in front of dewey probably so to <laughs> silence him and say we're friends we're friends forgive my, forgive my stepfather <clears throat> he's he's been hitting the drink <laughs> what? Exactly. That's your father. I'll verify that. We're friends. I think I understand what the gnome was trying to say. Okay. Come into our camp. I will walk in now. Sir? How many are there of you guys? Four. It's just four. And three I horses. Oh, yeah. Not, not counting the horses. 
Okay, uh, welcome to our camp, he yells out, and three other individuals uh, appear out of the darkness. Each one of them is carrying uh, Deadwood. Okay. Hello. So, so, so they got their dicks in their hands, what now? Mm -hmm. uh, they're puzzled, and the three of them are like, who are you guys? Well, we are we are refugees from, did we come from Rourke? Where did we come from, Rourke? Rourke? Rourke. Rourke. Yeah, we're, yeah Rourke. Rourke. Yeah, we're, we're refugees Rourke. from Rourke. Uh, the, town is, the town is lost. Uh, it was there the other day. We were just there. Yeah, oh. we were there more recently, and now it's gone. It's the undead have, have taken it over. Oh. It's, it, it's gone. I hope you didn't have family there. That would be a tragedy. We're assuming it's gone. We left when the um, shit started to go down. But before it got there. Have you guys all been hitting the drink? No. Uh, I don't I'm, I'm underage. Well, you're saying it's gone. You're saying it's probably gone. And yeah. you're not sure if your friend or foe, and that guy is just standing there. Uh, I, I, by, by my, my assertion of definite was 95% definite. So probably, but yes, most likely, yes. It was on fire the last time I saw. <laughs> Dewey, yeah. the individual looks at you and says, is your son a little off? A halfling. Well, he's actually a changeling, but he looks like a halfling. See, I keep telling you, drunk off his ass. A changeling. I don't drink. So what are? Yeah. See, he, you, yeah. you, you guys. You know what? We be, best, yeah. best of fortune. You guys need to leave our camp. You just sorry, need to, go sorry to bother you. Yes. Are, are we? And then, and then, and then I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna just growl at Dewey. Dewey, what are you saying? But where's Battle Keep? We, you no know, you've been there. We, 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 we've done too much damage here. Let's go. Well, we're traveling in the middle of the night. I just wanted to make sure we were going the right way. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. now they're angry at us. Let's go. Let's let's go, Alki. We'll talk about it later. Come on. Let's go. Yeah. The other three drop their bundles of dry wood and take a cautious approach as to what is unfolding. I start to leave the camp. Just I grab a pouch and I lay it down at my feet and then I go. You lay down a pouch? Yep. Okay. He's fashioned an incendiary device. They point out to you that you've dropped an item. It's for you guys for helping with directions. Sorry. Things are getting real bad now. Stop talking to people, Dewey. Let's go. <laughs> so do all four of you leave the camp? Kind of want to more. That's in the bag. Okay. Two hundred gold. Okay. Uh, how far away from this camp do you want to go before you bed down for the night? I think we're far enough away from work. Not, I don't know. Hang, hang, on, hang on, because because this needs to be pointed out. I keep forgetting. Do we? Yeah. They're looking for a changeling. Don't say you're with one. They're looking for a gnome, a wood elf. And a half elf. Well, yeah, don't point that out to people. Do. Don't it's, do that. That's bad. That's a bad thing to do, dipshit. <laughs> yeah, but we don't. Uh, just, just, just how about how about no? How about no? What <laughs> new study? Dewey, he's, yeah. he's not wrong. Don't point it out. Huh? <laughs> he's looking for you all, and one is a changeling. That's there are not a lot of changelings. And, don't and I, like, I, necromancer. I, can't, I don't have any way to disprove that. Yeah, but they're looking for you. Are, we, are they arguing this in the camp? No, no. no we, they've we, moved we, off. We, we've oh, left okay. a little ways, but I'm like, I, we, have to, we have to have this conversation because it keeps coming up. I, I think Dewey knows, guys. I think he's just being a dick. <laughs> then let's go, then, then. <laughs> he could be. It'd be nice if he what? Well, you guys are the masters of throwing people under carriages. I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, people. In fact, I, I don't know what I, I don't know what you're talking about either. Actually, please. <laughs> the dawn breaks anew. You've woken up a little bit late in the morning, but you go ahead and 
take flight towards the northwest of Battle Keep. Uh, you remember, uh, unless you roll a one or a two on a d20. I rolled a 17. You know that Fort Notori is in between you and Battle Keep. Sipic, where you last left the brothers, is north of that. Do you want to fly over one or the other, or do you want to try and split the goalposts of life? I'll go in between. Because if I remember, there's one of the places I should not go to. Sipic. Sipic, yeah. So I'll go through, through the middle. Going for a field goal. Uh, you see the... Um, trying to remember the timeline. Yes, you will see uh, a group of four familiar religious individuals below you. Do you want to continue to fly over them? Yeah, I'll just move on. I'll keep going. Okay. They look up into the sky and pay you no mind. Um, yeah, you aren't going to hit that either. You're coming up on a rather significant forest. Give me Arcana or History check, please. Because you saw the globe at Torgal Manor. Uh, 15. Uh, you're pretty sure that Battle Keep was close to a forest, uh, and you anticipate arrival by end of day, maybe, maybe middle of the night, if you continue this course. Um, and there's really nothing to stop you in the air because the dragon is elsewhere. Uh, so you continue on. Sorry, I don't have much to give you in the way of no worries talking. Uh, back to Tara and Lucas and Dewey and Perpetua. Uh, you guys have argued outside of earshot of the camp, or so you hope. Uh, and I assume you're no, going no, to no, get down. It definitely, it definitely would have been. Yeah, we're gonna I, I would have ensured that. Unless they followed you. Yeah, if they followed us, that, yeah. I mean, but we didn't necessarily notice. Nope. Uh, so you guys are going to bed down for the night? Yeah. Fair yes. enough. I, so, I would. So, I said I'm vulnerable. I would, I would look around. Hey, guys, guys, you still want to know what it was? Well, because I've been interrupted 9,000 times. What was? But, hey, what are we fighting? I, 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 either, either spit it out or don't. <laughs> All right, so well, I back to my knees. Night, and I'll even put in my final thoughts if I have to. I will. Say. It, it's still you guys. Are, 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 you, are you gonna say it or not? Come on. Okay, so, I gave you the logic. So, we have pestilence. We have, <laughs> well, yeah, war, 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 and um, what the fuck is the other one? We haven't, uh, seen, we haven't seen war yet. Death? No, but there's a war going on there. So I'm kind of thinking. There's, there's been wars going on for years. That's true. But those are, but the army, the, the dead is what, what was the finally made me realize it's not just the disease based thing. I think we're facing the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Be they. No shit, Carol. You know what? You didn't have to spend an hour on each horseman. You could have just said, it's the four horsemen, I think. Hey, I want to give everybody the how I figured it out because I was actually proud. I hey, Carol figured it out, everyone. <laughs> Woo! What's the like? Figured this crap out. Ter so Terran lives matter. Uh, <laughs> are you bedding down for the night? Yes. yes, but I am gonna. I'm going to at least make sure that we're like look for disturbances. What, what's around us? I'll there keep is watch. a there is a river and a bridge. Oh, this is about where we saw the cyclops last time, FYI. So, uh, really? yeah, but is, is, there, is, there, is there enough the wood? Is there a wooded area to get some cover? Are we on a prairie? What, what the wooded area is actually where the Cyclops encountered us, and Dewey, I think, climbed a tree, and I was invisible. Right, I, I remember that, but what, what, what is around here? 
uh, swamp land to the northwest, prairie and forest to the uh, due east. Do we want to be conspicuous enough to just set up tent in the prairie? Uh, I, don't, I, 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 would, I don't think we want to risk the swamp because you're, you're going to get bit by a snake while you sleep. Okay, fair. Climb up that pine tree I did last time. I'm, I'm fine. I'm, yeah, I'm fine up in the tree. Yeah, I, I really don't care. To get to the trees, you're going to have to travel at least another hour. Okay. Oh, all right. How, how, how late is it? How long have we been traveling? It's about midnight right now. Okay, so yeah, midnight, one o'clock. It's still, as long as the bars don't close yet, it's still not considered too late. Yes. True. Wait, I is would, there a, a, a quarantine social distancing while this blight is going? Yeah, on? I'm. I'm maintaining. Six, I'm right definitely now? maintaining six feet from Dewey. I mean, yeah. So are you, are you guys going to make camp in the woods? Yes. Yeah. Fair enough. I believe, I believe that's the goal. Yes. You guys start to set up camp. Perception check. Oh no. Nineteen. Fourteen. Twenty-one. A howl from a wolf can be heard. I have silver. I'm fine. I howl back. Yeah, it may just be a wolf. I was better off on my own. God damn it. D12, Lucas. <laughs> oh, okay. Cool. Oh, Lucas. Nine. Uh, Perpetua, Dewey, and Taryn, you notice that Lucas is howling back in a response. Um, I'm ready. I ready my silver against Lucas. They bit him. Doesn't that, that, smell oh, like a I'm good idea. I'm a fucking idea. druid, man. I speak wolf. That's right. Yeah, that, yeah, that's right. You're, yeah, I've seen you. Yeah, never, never mind. Yeah. Uh, who's taking what's first he, watch? What's he saying, Lucas? What's he saying? Who's taking he, second watch? I, uh, I, I have to sleep first. I'll take third. All right. I'll take, I'll take first watch if people want. I have dark vision. So too. everybody's taking first watch and Blake's oh, taking yeah. third watch. <laughs> there, I'll take second. Okay. Uh, Don't matter to me. Yeah, I'm fully rested, so I'm fine. Well, you've been up all day. Dawn breaks anew. Good. I cast mending and fix it. Ha. See, that's a joke, Taryn. <laughs> that's a Taryn joke right there. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, so where 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 is Battle Keep from here? Along the Across, river. Yeah. Well, you 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 Lucas, you you say you guys have been this way before. Do you want to lead on? Yes. Sure. Uh, everybody, invest or. Er, no, you guys aren't looking for it. Uh, everybody, perception. Nope. 15. Uh, I go with nope. What was yours, Perpetual? 13. Uh, Lucas had the 15. Yep. You don't notice anything unusual. Well, that's good. You can head off ac back across the plain towards the river. Uh, give me a straight up D20 if you can remember which side of the river it's on. Uh, we had to cross the bridge after we were at Battle Keep, right, Dewey? I don't know. I'll just roll the dice. 18. You'll have to cross that river again. Yeah. Okay, cool. And, and now, now as, as we're setting off, though, I would want to, like, do I see undead coming after us in the distance? Okay. Um, uh, you're several hours away from Rourke. Well, I don't, I don't, I don't know how long the sacking took. I'm assuming, I'm assuming that they don't have to sleep because they're undead. Possibly. Uh, so several hours pass. Uh, are you going to cross the river at that bridge, or go up to that next bridge? <coughs> Let's do the bridge. Wasn't First bridge. A person guarding a bridge. What? No, we. I don't. I don't know. I don't care. Ooh, we'll Dewey, fight it. Dewey, Dewey. I saw you stealing shit earlier. Do you notice any little like markings or anything around that say that this bridge is safe? Like now that you've been inducted into the guild of rogues and tricksters. 
saw me stealing stuff. Is it the bridge that you just crossed over or the one to the north is the one that, which one are you wanting to cross over? The one we did last time, the stone one that I couldn't burn down. So the north one. Okay. Sure. That's fine. Uh, as you go north along the tree line, you notice that uh, this is where the place that you guys had to hide from the Cyclops. Oh, yeah. I, I uh, keep an and, ear. And there was an individual hiding on the other side next to a small lake. Oh, yeah. Mm. He was like a messenger. Messenger. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, everybody, you four perception check. Matt, 20. 12. I'd say 11, but we have a 20. I got it in that 20. Jeez. Uh, there, uh, Lucas, there's, uh, there's something up there across the bridge by the lake. Um, I, I whisper that to Perpetua. I got this. Uh, let's keep going, guys. Yep. <laughs> well, you'll have to cross that bridge, and that will put you closer to this individual. Yeah, we'll we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Okay. Uh, yeah. You get to the bridge uh, without issue, uh, and as you can see, it appears to be somebody sitting on a stump. Oh, uh, is it the marathon maybe uh, maybe a hundred yards away? Uh, what kind of a Tits. Looks Dewey. like you would not recognize it. Lucas, Dewey, uh, Arcana for memory. So that's something I would come across? Nope. 19. You both recognize it as that messenger that you dealt with before. Oh, I, I wave and say hello. Did you deliver that message, sir? Just sitting there. I'll go up to him. He's dead. Yeah. Oh. Uh, why is he Does sitting? Does he still have to... his mailbag on him? Mailbag is gone. Parchment is down along the lake side. Oh. He's got a oh. he's got a big axe in his back. Uh, I want to go. I'll go check the parchments. I take the axe. He tips axe. forward when you pull the axe oh. out. Oh, oh God. Oh, no, not on me, Lucas. <laughs> oh, uh, it's fine. Taryn, D12 against me. Okay. Eight. Uh, there are letters to, from, I'm sorry, from Fort Notori to the Northern Army requesting assistance. For, does it specify for what? Not the papers you found. I'll show the others. You guys know anything about this? How big is the axe wound? <laughs> okay, so it's not like, say, a Cyclops sized axe. So well, I mean, I'm it's like a knoll size. Something I do know, though, is that if he was a messenger, he would have a secret pocket on him where he would keep the important things. I would like to find that. Go ahead and search. Uh, is investigation, what are we doing? Yep. Okay, that's uh, 14 plus 19. Yeah, you found the uh, secret pocket. Nothing in there. You also notice he doesn't have a coin purse. Someone he doesn't have this messenger. Doesn't have a backpack. He doesn't have a sack. Doesn't have any food. Doesn't even have a wine skin. Somebody took it all. Wait, is there blood here? Was he killed here, or is this, or is this a staged? There's blood on the stump. But like, I'm talking about like, was he drugged here? Is there a trail? Doesn't it, investigation, but there doesn't appear to be. Okay. Can I uh, in on that one? Fifteen. That's a dirty twenty. Uh, Twenty-four. <clears throat> There's a little blood spray, uh, maybe a foot or two away. Um, but it doesn't look like there's drag marks. So potentially he was blood sprayed break like so maybe he fought back. Both like, both suggestions are plausible. 
There are tracks of uh, something that got them and then ran away in what direction? Negative. Cool. So let's go on to the keep, guys. I think this is uh, not a big deal. Well, Manees, give some... me a perception check, please. <coughs> uh, that's a big old four. The winds have been with you, and you make excellent time. Instead of arriving late in the afternoon, you are arriving early at the afternoon to the skeletal remains of Battle Keep. Uh, do you want to land inside the courtyard or do you want to land outside the walls? Uh, outside the walls, just kind of like on the edge of the forest. Uh, no forest here at Battle Keep. That's that away. Forest uh, Battle Keep sits on the far side of that river in the swampland. Oh, okay. Uh, well, yeah, I'll just stand at the outside of of the city, see if I can. There is a rusty portcullis at the front gate. Is that where you want to land or just hang out on the walls? No, just like, I want to stay further back, kind of like, I don't know where I could land physically, but away enough that nobody's really going to see me, but I can still kind of see what's going on in or around. The uh, swamp area has some sagebrush, uh, some small trees, not a lot of foliage, uh, but enough that you can probably hide with a successful stealth check, please. Uh, ooh, okay, that'll be a 10. So not brutal. Oh yeah, I'm sure you're hidden. Not a big deal at all. Uh, nothing around. You know what? I stand corrected. D12 against me. Uh, eight uh somebody has been leaving their trash all over the swamp fucking dgens yep there's a uh, couple of parchments floating around uh anything i can make out of them uh give me two attack rolls to see if you can catch them blowing across the swamp yeah, I don't catch it. Well, I got a two and an eight, so I You I remain it. hidden and let the debris <laughs> oh. uh, flow to the west. Uh, back to <laughs> Lucas, <laughs> Perpetua, <laughs> Dewey, <laughs> and Terran. Uh, are you done with the body or no? I'm done. Uh, yeah. All right. Go, go on ahead, guys. I just got to take care of this. I'm going to get out my fillet knife. Oh, really? Why? Why do you need to do this? Uh, catch up. We have him in peace. <laughs> okay, in pieces. Fine. He, 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 said. he said it might be handy to be able to be him for a minute. Oh, you have you have to do what? that? No, it's more of a fetish. I, I, this is how I get to know someone. It's it puts really lotion on the skin. <laughs> One, but I my horse. <laughs> Which way is it coming or going? Ah, uh, perpetually, oh, you notice that Dewey throws the corpse up and over his mount. Actually, uh, well, no, you, you were telling everybody to leave, so yeah, Dewey, you're allowed to do that. Okay. I stopped it because I saw the flame up come out and I know what that means. Do we, do we want to see if I can do this on horseback? Yeah. Follow me, guys. Let's go to the keep. All right. Let's go My to the horse keep. is busy carrying me in a body. <laughs> <laughs> who's uh, who's taking Perpetua? That's fine. I'll burn all my spell slots again, fuckers. I can't. I'll take Perpetua. Uh, battle keep is off in the distance. The skeletal ruins uh, peek out of the ugly swamp. As you approach, you notice that the area becomes spongy again. Lucas, Dewey, you are quite familiar with the rugged terrain. Uh, Perpetua and Terran, uh, you're getting no, well, a lot of a lot of insects. As we're going through the swamp, ah. I'm making the trek easier. I'm shaping water to make the land a little firmer and make our path a little because we did that before. Oh, nice! You can. 
that's still not going to remove the swamp on either side. So the insects are still there. So that, that's but, fine, but we're, we're, we're not really necessarily impeded by the terrain. Is, is oh, no, no there, there was no there was no imposition for you guys. It's just uh, more of color. It'll be, it'll be easier. To, we're also not going to leave tracks that way because when the water goes back, it'll cover it up. Manise, what was your stealth check? Uh, I think it was uh, it was ten. That's right. Uh, Lucas, Perpetua, Dewey, Terran, Perception. Thirteen. Twenty-three. Thirteen. Sixteen. Hey, it's a bird. Uh, hang on just a second. That's the word. Okay. Uh, Perpetua. Odd even, Dewey, odd even. 17. 20. Uh, Dewey spots movement in the scrub grass. Lake spot, or Perpetua spots papers floating across the moors. I dash for the papers. Okay. Right, are uh, you, are you? I, I'll, I'll, I'll launch myself off a of Terran. Okay. Uh, and I'll, sh I'll shape water to to essentially impede their progress. Is that a cantrip? Yes. Okay. And I can have th three instances active at a time. Fair enough. Uh, you make a sprint for it. Uh, first off, give me your dismount skill. Uh, acrobatics, I guess. Okay, that's fine with that. That's a 17. You jump off, don't say anything. Taryn, Lucas, Dewey, for some reason, Perpetua is running across the moors. I, I follow the my eyes follow the direction she's headed. You see the papers, uh, Dewey. You spot somebody trying to hide in the scrub brush. Hello, hello, brush. Manise. We're, here the, we're here with the changeling and all the wanted people. Hey, the changeling is busy. <laughs> so is Taryn. Manise, you hear the familiar voice of Dewey. I stand up. You son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> I go back. <laughs> uh, Dewey, you spot your uh, Eric Hocker friend. Lucas, you realize that indeed your message did go through. Uh, Perpetua, give me two attack rolls. Okay, but uh, I, I'm, I'm moving the water to the point where they're not able to float anymore. They aren't floating on water, they're floating on air. It's the wind that's carrying them across. Oh, okay. Wind. Gotcha. 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 Okay. Uh, one is a net 20 and the other one is a 19 plus whatever. Oh uh, yeah. You catch both pieces of paper. Thank God I burned the net 20 on that. What do they say, Frank? What do they say? Uh, one of them is a personal letter, uh, a love missive. Uh, the I mean, other one is some kind of direction on how to rebuild the bridge. Oh, probably <laughs> one by that chasm. <laughs> Who is the love letter between? The love letter is between someone called... Aurora, and it is from a Janine. Aurora sounds oh, like I was, I'm like, please say Lady Torgal. Please say Lady Torgal. Nope, Aurora and Janine. Oh. oh, okay. Well, I will. Any, any anything besides just bedroom talk? Mm -mm. Nope. You only got. It's clear that the two pages that you got are. Just, not uh, yeah uh, yeah yeah okay i do want to know how to rebuild the bridge but well you got half the plans Ooh, this side or that side hmm. just half the plans uh odd top even bottom wait are we talking about the love letter <laughs> yes 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 <laughs> uh even <laughs> bottom it uh, describes how to build the trestle system in the river now, 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 it's it's Aurora and Janine. I thought it was more of a scissoring action than a top or a bottom scenario. That is true. Uh, as you return, Taryn, you will notice first that Dewey and Lucas have moved forward and are conversing with uh, your bird associate. Then Perpetual will notice that the trio is enraptured by the reappearance of your cleric. 
I'll, 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 is, is not, not conversing. Conversing, well, conversing doing, meeting like, like, means to a fault. I'm, I'm cool with the cleric being back um, because, hey, cleric, we're going to go to this haunted keep. We need your abilities. Thanks for being here. Yeah, everything, everybody's looking for us. Everybody wants to kill us uh, in, in, in Fulton. In Fulton. And uh, what, what's yeah, news? what happened in Fulton? Listen, it's not <laughs> time to talk about what happened in Fulton. Here's the cliff notes. <laughs> Don't go to Fulton. <laughs> Everybody thinks we are the reason for this plague. Why? Why? We are the reason for the plague. Did you did you run into anyone? How do you know? I heard there were undead. You're unintentionally the reason for And this. apparently the Notre Dame backfield is there for some reason. I, but Taryn took the like, long route to tell us that. I would like to pester him for oh, information please. until Perpetua was able to deduce that there was a hero. That did that did treason. Well, I can tell them about like the last things that happened with with the uh, <coughs> the assassination attempts on the because I had nothing to do Not with that. Attempt. I didn't. <laughs> well, successful, successful. Well, it might have been. Hey, how about that fucking kidnapping attempt on me at the prison? What about you it? Got, you got I'm... a nice tattoo as a way of saying. <laughs> But, but no, I'm, I, 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 I have a way to get us all out of this. Those, those, those were the bad heroes. They're saying that heroes from the rogue heroes from the academy are doing this. There was a rogue hero that just did, did the assassination. They have them in custody. They got their rogue heroes. Mission accomplished. Yeah. Exactly. Thanks, Bush. <laughs> I say we spin that to our advantage. You guys wanted to get back together to go ahead and discuss things. That's why I'm shutting yeah, my mouth. I'm, I'm like, should the need arise? I think that that's the way we should play that. That yes, that there, there were rogue heroes. I've heard. I've heard now. I've heard tell of them too. They've been taken into custody down south. Yeah, no, that would work. I mean, it's true. They're rogue. They they killed people. They were at the academy. Wow! Well, fucked her and left her. <laughs> Hey, yo, listen. Good Looking job. Number wow. One. Oh, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you, were, you weren't particularly fond of this person. You didn't do anything sordid, did you? No, no, no. You don't have the bird was, flu, do you? Well, I tell, I tell them who she was because they would know who she is if, they, yeah. if she was at the Academy. Yep. So that's that's who did it. So obviously, you know, I, I was... <laughs> Not unaware. I, I, I Guilty by association. Was, I don't appreciate that. I thought she was a gnome sympathizer. That explains so much. Likes all the gnomes. Everybody all caught up? Uh, Six points uh, of damage. I'm also saying uh, I uh, we got the box back from someone. Where's the box? Because the box was I never shit. told you that, but I will tell you that now that I actually have the box because that uh, halfling coal is the one that took it. But I, I, knew I have it. it. It was either her or that dark elf. Yeah, it wasn't that. It wasn't the dark elf. It was a uh, habit. So now you've disinfected everything that you've gotten from her. You, you. I'm assuming yeah. you've you've informed me that she had a little bit of a tickle in her throat. Uh, she died from that damn tickle in her throat. Speaking I'm of, Taryn, roll a d20. Oh shit! I'm, I've been waiting for this. Oh, actually, that's pretty good. Um, where, yeah, it's just a straight D twenty, or mm -hmm. any, any add anything to it. Fourteen. You notice while you're talking to Perpetua, mm -hmm. there's no movement inside that keep. Should where there should there be? <laughs> I don't know this keep, so I mean, would I think that's strange? It's haunted, right? I, I guess. I mean, they and said they, the blood. They the didn't say, like, heard stories. We heard. I heard about the spiders, but I mean, they were. Those aren't exactly ghosts. So. Well, well, no. What, what stories have your bardic tales and travels told you of this place? It's I don't these know. two. <laughs> no, well, that's no. I mean, 
whether or not that yeah whether or not i know anything further what kind of a check would that be it's uh, not you can do I'm arcana not, i can do arcana or history i've got both uh i don't know shit because that was an 11 well it's an 11. folks they're back together they got the band back together now um, accomplished. Uh, yeah. God only knows what debacle this will bring upon us. Let's go ahead and do final thoughts, uh, starting with Taryn. We'll go in reverse order. Uh, Carol, what'd you think of this episode? Was, hey, we finally got the band back together. So now you only have to worry about running one plot line instead of four, was it? Uh, at one time it was. He's got to keep them going, though, because now he's got all these different timelines. Actually, I have the outline <coughs> of how this fucking mess ends. <laughs> well, uh, we don't have any say about that. that coming. Ah, uh, Dewey, final get, thoughts. And, uh, yeah, talk over me. That's fine. Really appreciated oh, Fulton. That was nice. And uh, it'd be nice if Carol was able to finish a thought in at least six seconds. <laughs> Yeah, well, hey, what else is new? Carol, Carol, go ahead and finish your final thought. Yeah, you know, it might be a lot more expedient if I actually wasn't talked over, you know, at times to me to get the info. Although I will say this, for comedic purposes, that was funny. You would cut me off every single time I go to say what the big bad was. Well, did you see what Dewey's been doing? No, I, ha I, I haven't. I, every time you talk. <laughs> he's been I, counting down. And that's when I kill you. <laughs> yeah, no, because remember, I only see you and myself or whoever's talking. Ah, but, gotcha. Wait, final thoughts. Hey, guys, we figured out it was the four horsemen. Thanks, Carol. Yeah, that, oh, Blake actually knew first. And I wanted you to freaking say it because I knew you knew first. I'm trying to be fair. Uh, Lucas, final thoughts. No, no, no. Uh, I, I, well, we're I all back together. Know. Things didn't uh, burn. You know, we're all good. So we're at the keep finally. And I know where all the staff pieces are, and I shared it with the team. I don't think they were paying attention. Uh, it's here, Yaddle, and Fulton, I think. Correct. Yeah. Uh, Chris, final thoughts from the Bridge of the Enterprise. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was good i didn't die i think this is like one of two that i didn't die yeah and you it took very little damage because there how many, was how the many hit puzzle. points you got left well there, i'm there, back up because i did a full night's rest but i was down to 10 i think there was the possibility <laughs> there was the possibility that he, you were going to be taken prisoner oh i'm sure <laughs> no so. doubt <laughs> So there you have it, folks. Thanks for joining us uh, Saturday night. Uh, we appreciate you watching us. And if you're watching us at a later time, uh, if you could turn back time, send us the lottery numbers. Tomorrow night, we're probably going to do a, another Boredom Buster one shot, uh, 8 p.m. Uh, with one of the greatest players, Heidi, because she hates Kyle. <laughs> uh, at, if you want bingo, let us know. Uh, if you want to play bingo, let us know. If you want a seat here, let us know. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to buy our stuff, boom, it's right there. If you want to join us on Discord, tinyurl.com, mhoboinc, Discord. Join us. Let us know. Uh, and if you just have a comment about the show, if it sucks, uh, don't tell us. We don't care. Uh, if it's good, uh, whatever. I don't care. If you really want to have a good comment, come join us. Uh, for all the folks here at Murder Hobo Inc., uh, we will see you later, and thanks for joining us. Everybody wave! Oh, and for those of you that need the square, that's me telling something racist or, or, or uh, misogynistic. Here it is. Oh, that uh, We're already done. That <laughs>